friends. I have a question for you. What is your favorite word in the whole world? Is it chocolate? Bedtime? Vacation? <laughs> well, those are all good words. But once I heard someone say that everyone's favorite word is their own name. It's kind of true, isn't it? As babies, it's one of the first words we learn to respond to. And as kids, it's one of the first words we learn to write. And we love to hear stories about how our names were picked out. And who doesn't love something monogrammed? That's something that has your name stitched on it. I mean, it's awesome. I agree. I think our names are one of our favorite words in the whole wide world. And when I was a kid, one of my favorite Bible teachers shared a story of someone hearing his name being called. Do you know that story? It's in 1 Samuel 3. Let me tell it to you really quick. Now Samuel was a young boy serving under the priest Eli, and Eli was getting up there in age, so Samuel was following his instruction and careful to do everything that Eli needed. Now one night, Eli and Samuel went to bed, and Samuel um, heard someone calling his name. And it sounded like Eli, so Samuel runs to Eli and wakes him up and says, Here I am, you called me. And Eli says, Child, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. Well, this hearing somebody call his name and running up and waking up Eli and Eli telling him to go back to bed, well, that happens two more times. And finally, Eli says, Samuel, the next time you hear your name being called, this is what I want you to say. I want you to say, yes, Lord, I'm listening. And sure enough, the Lord calls Samuel's name. And in 1 Samuel 3.10, we hear this. Samuel responds, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. And then Samuel goes on to serve the Lord for the rest of his life. I love that story. Well, after my favorite teacher told the story, she asked my friends and I, have you ever been alone and heard your name called, but no one else was around? And my six-year-old self was like, yes, all the time. How does she know? <laughs> well, then my teacher continued and she advised, the next time it happens, stop what you're doing and say, yes, Lord, I'm listening. So when that happened, I did. I froze and I said, yes, Lord, I'm listening. Now, I'm sure my parents were probably a, a little concerned about me because I was so sure the Lord was going to speak to me the same way he spoke to Samuel. Well, <laughs> as I got older, I realized that God talks to us in a lot of different ways, not just waking you up at night. <laughs> well, in today's message, Pastor Steve is sharing that God is still talking to us and calling our name. We just need to listen. Now, I giggle a little bit at the image of six-year-old me freezing every time I thought I heard my name being called and telling God that I'm listening. But that's not really a silly thought, is it? Shouldn't we all pause every day and give God the opportunity to speak to us? I mean, we may hear from him in ways we could never imagine. God could call us to look at his word, the Bible. God could put it on our hearts to think and pray over a friend or check in on someone we haven't thought about in a long time. God could even call our attention to something beautiful in creation just to remind us that he is with us no matter what. There's so many ways to hear and feel God calling to us through the people we trust, through God's word, and even in nature. The important thing is to commit yourself to listening and paying attention. And the best way to begin listening for God is to practice. So let's give this a go. I'm going to give you 10 seconds, and I want you to say the first two names that pop into your head. They could be someone you know, someone you used to know. It could be a family member or someone you like a lot or someone you have a hard time with. All right, we're going to need two names to pop into your head. 10 seconds. All right, here's your timer. Okay, do you have your two names? You can keep them right there in your head. So here's what we're going to do to practice listening for God. We're going to pray over those two people that are in your brain 
by their name. You can pray to yourself. You can pray out loud. If you have their number, you can even shoot them a text and say you're thinking about them right now and praying over their name. We're going to practice listening for God this week by praying over those two names. So here we go. Let's pray together. Father God, thank you for bringing these two names to my mind today. Guide me to pray and remember these two people this week and help me listen through your word and through your people. It's in your son's holy and precious name that I pray. Amen. Amen. Now, what comes next as we listen for God? Yes, now it's hard to say sometimes. Sometimes God speaks to us and he can be very clear like Samuel, like Samuel heard God's voice. Or other times it could be like Queen Esther. Queen Esther was moved into action with the help of some family members that she really trusted what they had to say. And sometimes God is quiet. But the important thing is to take time each day to listen and pay attention. Come to think of it, my favorite teacher was onto something. When she told us to stop everything and say, yes, God, I'm listening, she was onto something. Because God is looking to do a work in your life. But you have to listen. So here's your challenge this week. You have your two names. Pray over them this week. You can even use Samuel's words. Yes, Lord, I'm listening. Did you hear that? Oh, <laughs> no, that was just my hound dog snoring. That wasn't the Lord at all, at all. That's just embarrassing. Okay, guys, I'll see you next week. Remember your challenge. Yes, Lord, I'm listening.